Okay, so back end of the season, um, and we're thinking about Ferrara control. We put monitoring boards in these colonies earlier in the week, and we've got four colonies in this apiary. This colony was in fact the lowest, um, and had, I think it was only a couple of mites over an average drop or below that. But because it's in an apiary with others that have got a higher count, there is likely Ferrara in here. So I'm going to treat everything in this apiary um, and my choice of this season is, um, is Apigard which comes in little foil trays like that and comes in packs of 10. Now with this one it's a, a thymol based um, treatment and each of these trays contains a, a gel which I'll show you in a minute. This colony is on a brew box and a super. Um, now really what I should be doing is putting the uh, uh, the supers um, uh, not got brood in it. So I'm going to take the super back off. And I'm going to put the treatment on top of the brood box. The super, the argument with using these treatments is that they do contaminate the honey. So this super is not going to be for human consumption. This is their winter stores. Uh, if it was for human consumption, I would need to take it off before I do the treatment. But these treatments are without honey supers on, unless you're going to use it for the bees. I need a space to put this treatment in. So this, one of my favourite beekeeping words, is an eek, which is just a square of wood. Um, so that can go on. And these, this first patty, you need two of these patties to go on. The first one goes on for a fortnight. Um, the second one goes on anywhere between two weeks and four weeks. If there's any left in this first um, tray, once you, after a fortnight, scrape it into the second tray. With the second tray, wait until the second tray is empty. So this treatment can take up to six weeks. And this treatment um, has the downside that needs to be used above 15 degrees uh, centigrade, ideally, but to be most effective. It also will, if you're trying to feed your bees at the same time, often they won't feed when the thymol's on. So if I open the tray, you'll see this kind of gel in there. I tend to leave the lid on because there's often some gel on the lid and you want to give them the full dose. And just bed that down on top of the frames somewhere in the centre. Because this is on brood and a half, I'm just going to put the queen excluder over the top. They may well draw a bit of brace comb in here in the meantime, uh, but that's no big deal. I will just we'll sort that out. The super, as I say, is going to be those their winter stores, so that will end up underneath in my world uh, later in the season, but not now. The other thing that's recommended with this treatment is that you close the hive to an extent. So if you've got open mesh floors, really what you want to be doing is you want to be putting the insert tray underneath. And if you wanted to be really kind of thorough about it, you might seal it up with a bit of gaffer tape or something like that so the hive's closed. You don't close the entrance block, you're not closing the hive to that extent. But the, the thymol that's in there is heavier than air so it'll tend to drop down. If you don't put an infection board in or something like that, you can lose some effectiveness. So that first tray in for two weeks, another tray in for two to four weeks, um, but until the tray is empty. And that's pretty much using Apigard. It's a soft chemical, it's based on thymol, which is, is thyme as a herb, uh, but it, it does have a high sort of efficiency, so it can be an effective treatment at this time of year but just avoid having honey supers on unless you're leaving the honey for the bees. Thank you.